Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Rodman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to enable the new theming engine on the Google Chrome browser. So you could see on the right hand side is the new theming engine, the new UI. On the left, we still have the old UI. This is the old one. So all the menus are also on the old one. This is as well the old tabs and all of these you could see from the old one only. Now the new UI is over here on the right hand side. The new UI based on Android 16 style. Like we should go to any other slot as well. You could see all of them have their own sections now which is a new USB of this style. Like my privacy and security payment methods you could see, they now have their own separate sections, which is new this time around. Languages you could see. So let me show you on the old one. This is the old one on the left hand side. In the language section, if I go there, you could see it's still the same in the same section, but in the new one, you have all of them in their own separate section. You could now see over here. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable this UI on any Google Chrome browser. So let's get started. So for that, go back to the home screen and from here type in the option of Chrome flags. Then search for the word containment and then you will get this flag Android settings containment. Tap on this. By default, it will be set to default. You will have to choose it to enabled. When that is done, tap on relaunch. The browser will now restart and after that, you will now get the new theming engine as you could see. It's now enabled across the UI of the app. The new one was over here. Let me show you once again. It's not enabled and all of them are having the new UI. These sections as well. And the old one will look something like this. You could see over here. So guys, as you could see, the new UI is there in the Chrome beta build, not in the stable build. The issue with the stable is that if even if I try to turn on the flag, this is the flag Android containment. I didn't turn on the flag, then did a restart. But even after that, you could see the change is not been enabled right now. So it's not working in a stable build as you could see over here. So I could only use the beta build with the new UI.